Thank you for joining me today. This is a special tropical weather outlook uh, for the Atlantic Ocean. Um, this is... We're watching a disturbance here that's located um, east of the Windward Islands, well to the east, about 900 miles at least. Um, this is, uh, they're anticipating this to become Hurricane Emily. Um, future Hurricane Emily looks prominent right here. And excuse the bad quality of this, I'm using a, a camera that doesn't really have that great of audio quality. Anyways, so here it is, folks. 80% um, chance of development within the next 48 hours. And another disturbance, but this one has near zero chance of tropical cyclone formation. So we're watching these two disturbances, especially this one, as they're expecting this one to become future Hurricane Emily. Dawn has dissipated over Texas, over southern Texas. This is their last advisory for them. So Dawn is no longer a threat to anyone, but now we got this thing to worry about, and we're going to go ahead and go into detail. The location of this is a, um, it's a Cape Verde type hurricane, or a Cape Verde type low, low pressure. Although it's not really as far back as the Cape, most Cape Verdes form here, however, it's forming over here. But it's still similar to a Cape Verde hurricane. Now, Cape Verde hurricanes are very strong. They last a long time. They travel ver they travel great distances. They usually last for 10 days or more sometimes. So we're definitely watching a possibly a very large hurricane here. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to some images of the storm. This is they've named it 91L. This is what it looks like. It has some pretty decent thunderstorm activity, especially on the southern flanks of the storm. Um, the storm is moving to the west or west northwest at about 15 miles an hour. We're going to the visible satellite image has some pretty nice cloud cover, nice thunderstorm activity, um, and we're going to go ahead and go to, this is water vapor, this would probably be cloud, cloud height, as you can see, very intensive, oh, excuse me, for a very extensive thunderstorm activity on the southern flanks. So they're def the surface pressures are actually lowering, and the thunderstorm activity is becoming more organized, we could definitely be looking at a tropical de a tropical depression to form, possibly by tonight, but more likely it'll probably be like tomorrow before we see it. But it is very likely to see formation of the system. So now we're going to go ahead. And this is Tweet Deck. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and take a look at stuff like this. As you can see, um, well, you can't really see it very well. Sorry about that. It's mainly, it's going to continue this westerly, northwesterly stuff, and it's expected to curve north. Now, they are saying it could stay far enough south that it'll keep on this ridge and end up hitting on this kind of a track, cut across southern or central Florida, and then hit New Orleans. Now, we do not want to see that to happen because this could be a very large hurricane later on, but most of the tracks are pulling it towards the Carolinas after a while. So we're going to watch this. Um, there will probably be another update tomorrow, so keep watching. Thank you.